Hey everyone. So it's top of the hour. Let's just wait a few seconds for people to join and I'll share my screen in the meantime. I'll, I'm stepping in for Sarah today. She's not able to present the functional group date for UX. So I'll be doing that. Uh, let me present. Okay. So I hope you're seeing my screen. <clears throat> if you're not, just shout. Um, <laughs> so welcome to this functional group update for UX user experience. I'm Pedro Moreira da Silva. I'm a senior UX designer here at GitLab. And I'm just going to show you a little bit of what we've been up to um, since the last uh, group update. Uh, so our agenda, welcome Jithu, accomplishments, a little sneak and peek and questions uh, in the chat. So feel free to start uh, putting questions now if you want me to answer them later. Uh, so first of all, welcome Jithu to the UX design team. Uh, he's based in Chennai, India. You have some links there for uh, his social media accounts. Uh, feel free to reach out to him, um, just schedule a coffee chat, wherever, uh, just to say hello. And uh, he's our latest edition. Uh, and uh, we've been, so the, the opening, for the UX designer position um, was open since no, late November or mid-November. Uh, and we've finally been able to close that position uh, first with Jisu, and then we'll have another person joining us uh, later. Um, and that's one of our accomplishments. So in terms of hiring, we've filled both UX designer positions uh, after a lot of work uh, and a, lot of, a long time and a lot of interviews. Um, uh, but I think that the, the work that we put into it just means that we have really good uh, people with us uh, and that's exactly what we were aiming for. So even if it takes too long, uh, it's worth it. Um, for the Operation Engineering Survey, uh, it's something that is part of our OKRs uh, and the survey is now out. So we've had over 200 responses so far and the idea here with the Operation Engineering Survey is to identify the needs and pain points of uh, this role to surface opportunities. So th this is one of our OKRs. It's uh, you, if you click there on that link, uh, you see an issue. And to, what we want with this initiative is to make operation engineers a first class citizen inside of GitLab. Uh, and this is just a small step towards that. Uh, and this research will help us identify the main opportunities. Uh, the third point, improvements to the Kubernetes installation flow, uh, something that we've already talked about and uh, Sarah O'Donnell from UX Research also showed and shared a little bit uh, in the previous uh, functional group update of UX Research. Uh, so it's also something that's part of our OKRs and the whole UX team came together to look at that in, uh, at the Kubernetes installation flow, which takes uh, over uh, an hour and we've identified together the short-term iterative improvements and all of them have been scheduled, which uh, is amazing. And we hope that uh, soon enough people will be using Kubernetes uh, much faster uh, and GitLab will be the go-to place for people starting out uh, and to do um, out of DevOps. Um, so here's a sneak peek at something that we've been working on. Uh, it's uh, improvements uh, to the styling of comments and system notes in both issues and merge requests. Uh, and initially this, uh, this idea and this issue was created by Annabelle some months ago. Uh, and now Hazel uh, from the UX team is working on it. Uh, and uh, because currently it's very easy for someone to get lost in the middle of all of the comments of the system notes, there's just a lot of noise there. Uh, and we hope that this uh, issue, which has a lot of discussion and you can go through it and see uh, a lot of versions and iterations till we, until we reached this uh, final stage, this screenshot that you see here. Uh, and we hope that this will improve um, this discussion tab a lot more. Um, so feel free to give your comments there as well in the issue and let us know uh, what you think, uh, if you like it, if you don't like it, what are your concerns? or uh, just thumbs up, thumbs up the issue. Uh, it, this is also an issue, one of the first issues where we are using the UX deliverable uh, label, uh, just trying it out. So 
What this means is that for this issue, which is scheduled for 10.6, it's uh, what is scheduled is not the implementation of the issue, but the exploration of the solution of the design. Uh, and this is what we're aiming for to get done um, for 10.6, uh, the milestone. And uh, after that, we'll go through the implementation. Um, and yeah, questions. Uh, let me exit full screen and see what I have here. Uh, thanks, Scott. Um, Lucas, Ipert, will there be system node squashing? Uh, <laughs> so that's something that we've, um, we, there's a lot of uh, issues uh, around, around that, uh, squashing system nodes or just plain hiding them or having uh, another uh, tab just for system nodes. Uh, currently, we're just doing this styling. Uh, I think that's something that we have considered from time to time, uh, but at the same time, we don't want to lose basically the, the the whole history of what's happening because even mentioning issues and merge requests or um, adding related issues. So all of those notes and things that happen to an issue give you the whole context of what's happening. Uh, but at the same time, I know what, what, what you're saying. Uh, sometimes it's just better to focus on the conversation. Um, it's a, it's a difficult balance to strike. So um, I, I don't have a final answer for that, just that it's something that's in the back of our minds. And um, maybe in the future we will, if we have a lot of upvotes and people wanting that, we will think more about it. Uh, but thank you for the question. And then Dimitri DZ asks, when will design.gitlab.com will be live? So for those who don't know, um, design.gitlab.com, uh, it's uh, where we intend to have our design system. So by design system, what we mean is not necessarily just things that people think are design. So visual design and interaction design, it's much more than design. So currently we're uh, migrating all of the documentation that we currently have in the user docs for UX, it's, it's a UX guide that we have there, and we're mig migrating that all to design.gitlab.com. Um, and over time, we will also integrate there the final code live. So we will have for each component, for buttons, tabs, uh, links, uh, text styles, everything that you will see, every single piece of the UI that we have on GitLab, we intend to have dedicated pages on that design system that show you the usage, the guidance, uh, and also the live code. And over time, what we want to do, our uh, very uh, future vision is to basically have a central place for anyone who wants to contribute to GitLab. They will have everything there, uh, even product values and things like that. But right now, we're just starting out with what is uh, the more visual side of it and uh, integrating front end parts. Uh, answering directly to the question, when will it be live? So we're intending to have it live uh, by the end of this month. So even it's something that is scheduled for this quarter. Um, and uh, it's something that there's an issue already open about it. Uh, and we have also a Slack channel if you want to just chat about uh, specific things related to the design guide. So the end of the month, hopefully, that's what is scheduled. Um, yeah, and Dimitri just posted, posted the, the issue um, on the chat that links to the whole domain things that, so we, that we need to put design.gitlab live. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. I, um, John said in the issue that he would try to uh, get the DNS configured uh, later this week. So it would be nice. <laughs> cool. Cool. Yeah, it's, it's something that we're very, very excited about. Uh, actually, this week on Friday, we're going to have uh, a hack day just dedicated to both design.gitlab.com and also the pattern library, uh, which is something that is uh, parallel to design.gitlab.com. Uh, and it's uh, basically a sketch file. So it's, it's where we host all of the 
uh, visual design assets. It's basically like a big Photoshop file. If you know Photoshop, a sketch is another software that we use here at GitLab. And that is where we're going to develop visually all of the components and colors and buttons and things like that. And we're going to have a full day on this Friday just dedicated to exploring more of that and also writing down the documentation of everything that we can during those 24 hours for design.gitlab.com. Uh, and it's something that we're very, very excited about because design.gitlab.com uh, as a whole will allow us to move much faster and have much better communication first with uh, the front-end team and, and front-end team with UX, but also in the near future with product. And we hope to expand this communication and have a central place for everything about uh, building GitLab. Um, so, Rebecca, how, can we help? <laughs> sure, I think uh, so. Um, I will uh, I will share with you uh, the epic. I think we have an epic for that, or an issue at least. Uh, and maybe we will. I think we it will be good to have someone look over uh, the content and and see uh, what is uh, what is missing or how he can write things better and also see basically how we can have a better synergy with the content team. Uh, because maybe we're writing down some things that are also in other places. Uh, so yeah, thank you. Thank you for reaching out and we, uh, we can uh, talk more after this call. Uh, and Gabrielle posted the link to uh, the current iteration of design.gitlab.com. Uh, it's exactly, it's a kind of a sneak peek so you can access the design system there. Uh, it's uh, it's still in progress and it's not live in the final URL. So we're st we're still uh, refraining from sharing that link. Uh, but but of course you can use it and, and internally we, we can uh, you can look it up. Uh, thank you, Gabriel. Um, anything else? Cool. So I hope you're enjoying uh, GitLab's UX more and more as you use it uh, and you find more things for us to fix and for us to improve uh, because UX, it's a bit like performance. It's something that is uh, transitional to the whole company. So it's not something that only the UX team should concern about. It's everyone's concern. So um, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the team call. Bye-bye.